Boeing said that they already finished the software patch to fix the problem for their 737 MAX planes, which killed all 346 people in two crashes. After the crash of Ethiopian Airlines ET302, Boeing announced that they will release the software patch within some weeks. And they already finished the test of their final software patch. But it's months now. But also, 737 MAX aircrafts doesn't seem to fly soon. Until now, all the Boeing 737 MAX aircrafts remain grounded and waiting for the world's aviation regulators to approve a software fix which will make them safer to fly. In the past, when planes were grounded, other regulators used to follow the decision of FAA. When the FAA approved grounded planes to fly again, regulators around the world similarly let them fly too. But now, the world's aviation authorities have lost confidence in U.S. Federal Aviation Administration. When Lion Air crashed in October 2018, people around the world were shocked. Reason? The aircraft was brand new Boeing 737 MAX. As well as, the cause of the crash was unknown. But later, Indonesian investigation authorities found the problem with its one of the angle of attack sensor. Then, Boeing said, there was a system called MCAS in that model of aircraft, which pushes the nose down for 10 seconds when the AOA sensor sends the information that the aircraft is going to stall. Again, in March 10, 2019, Ethiopian Airlines crashed, killing everyone on board. And it was similar to Lion Air crash. People were expecting that FAA will ground the aircraft, but instead doing it, FAA and Boeing were confident on the safety of the aircraft and FAA grounded 737 MAX almost at the end up to all planes had been grounded. People lost trust on FAA. On November 6, 2018, Boeing issued a safety warning. They advised 737 MAX operators of the potential for a sensor failure. Boeing instructed them how to deactivate MCAS in same scenario. MAX 8 pilots were not specifically trained on using MCAS. It was because Boeing, backed by the FAA and wanted to minimize the cost and time of certifying pilots who had already been trained on other 737 versions. And there was another shocking discovery that several MAX 8 pilots had complained about the aircraft's nose dive problem. Everything was going good for Boeing even after Lion Air crash. 737 MAX started to fly again. People didn't take this problem seriously. But, in March 10, ET-302, flight from Addis Ababa, Ethiopia to Nairobi, Kenya, crashed in just 6 minutes after takeoff, killing everyone on board. And this accident opened the eyes of airlines industries. Two crashes within 5 months, same model aircraft, same type of crash. People found a lot of similarities between two crashes. Then, at first, China grounded its all 737 MAX fleet. Airlines around the world followed China's decision. Boeing continues to support the investigation and is working with the authorities to evaluate new information as it becomes available. Safety is our highest priority as we design, build and support our airplanes. As part of our standard practice following any accident, we examine our aircraft design and operation and when appropriate, institute product updates to further improve safety. While investigators continue to work to establish definitive conclusions, Boeing is finalizing its development of a previously announced software update and pilot training revision. That will address the MCAS flight control loss behavior in response to erroneous sensor inputs. We also continue to provide technical assistance at the request and under the direction of National Transportation Safety Board, the U.S. accredited representative working with Ethiopian investigators. So, safety is their first priority. What kind of safety is that? Safety that airlines need to buy with extra money? Or extra safety feature which was made to gain extra money for Boeing? The optional safety feature is called disagree light and is activated if two angle of attack sensors are at odds with one another. In current situation, people lost trust on Boeing. 
people lost trust on FAA. Some airlines already cancelled the order of 737 MAX aircraft, so the aircraft isn't going to be that much popular as Boeing thought. Even they will fix the problem and aircraft start to fly again, people aren't seem to accept to board 737 MAX again. Even passengers who were not interested in the plane model while boarding, they will ask whether the plane is 737 MAX or not. And it's all happening because of Boeing itself. Their confidence over the aircraft seems very high. Boeing might fix the software problem easily, but it takes ages to fix trust of people on 737 MAX. This much for today. If you want to request any video, then please comment about it. I'll try to make it. Please support us by liking the video and subscribing the channel. Thank you for watching and have a good day ahead.